What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs and today I'm going to fix an issue with my Metasploitable database issue. I was trying to use uh, Armitage today and also just uh, play with Metasploitable in my lab and I got the database failed error. I had already started the service as you can see on the screen it says service Postgres SQL start it told me that it started correctly and I still ran into issues it says the database appears to be running if you run uh, the service metasploit uh, uh, command as you can see you can start start it but it will not start it says the uh, service was not found so that was the error that I was getting and it was getting really frustrating I just wanted to go and play with the security onion in my lab and that's error so in this video I'm going to show you how I was able to fix this error most videos that I saw were just uh, music and didn't explain what was going on so in this video I'll try to give you some insights and hopefully you can fix this in less than five minutes so uh, as you can see this is another suggestion that people said uh, just uh, start it that way it will tell you that uh, started and you to say okay so if you're seeing this that's okay that's normal it still won't work as you can see it says that the database already started if, if you run msf db in it that will not work so even if you go to the console itself uh, you will notice that you get an error right away after you get there to say that uh, it failed to connect so if you give it a minute then run db status that will not actually uh, give you the correct result and this changed when uh, a new update was applied and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix it in no time so if you follow these steps and you are getting this no connection error this video is definitely for you if you see that error right there then you need to follow my solution first thing you need to do is just make sure that you're on the latest version of metasploitable by running apt-get install negative y metasploit and then just uh, use the under, uh, hyphen framework and make sure that you get the latest update that's the new way of uh, updating it and you should actually be in the latest and as of today I'll be getting version 11 so if you your version is different you need to pay attention to that because in the next few commands i'll be showing you so just go ahead and uh, accept say okay accept the defaults we are just uh, installing it so while it's installing i also have to tell you that you also have to accept just accept everything but uh, at the same time this also installs it in addition to whatever you had so you need to go and delete the config from the previous version uh, otherwise uh, you have two uh, config files and I believe the latest one is the one that's applied the other one is still in there so you can go to the config location and still see it so once it's done as you can see in this video uh, in a couple of seconds here you will actually uh, see that message say that it's complete and the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is uh, check which ports is listening on Metasploit should the database should be on 5432 and if that's not the case for you if you see like as you can see here I have two versions because I just upgraded like I was saying 5432 is the correct one 5433 is the incorrect to open uh, port so it looks like the latest version is listening on 5433 and we're using the latest version that's why it's failing here is your error right here so we just need to change that 5433 port to 5432 as you can see and uh, we should be able to uh, just do that you can verify that uh, your latest version is running and also listening on that port and if you run this command you will change the port from 5433 to 5432 
and you just want to make sure that your version again after etc postgresql slash mine says 11 you substitute that with your own and this will do it otherwise go ahead and uh, change the config file manually you can just go to the location and just change that port from 33 to 32 then service postgres restart just restart the call service and you also want to restart the database so reinitiate the uh, database by running M msfdb reinit and that will actually uh, take a couple of seconds to reinitialize the database it will create a test database it and everything actually will be configured so after doing this you should definitely be in business if you were getting the same error that i was getting after this you should actually be in business verify by grabbing the same port as you can see my port actually did change so if i go to the console now by msf console i can check the database status by db underscore status and as you can see my connection is back up so that's it guys if you are running into this issue this is the solution and i'll have these commands in the description below remember to subscribe and i will be on my way to creating the video that i was creating about uh, security onion so if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video we'll be talking more about it security in your home lab otherwise stay safe